everyone, so for today, we will be learning about audiovisual materials or AVM. So what is audiovisual materials? Are devices that helps the learning environment to be more interesting, effective, and attractive to teacher and most especially to the students. AVM has provided learning experiences which couldn't be provided by traditional materials. Types of audiovisual materials Number 1. Auditory materials When we say auditory, it relates to the sense of hearing. So the students can learn through hearing or listening to the lectures. So what are the auditory materials? It composed of recording, speaker, radio, sound film, telephone. Recording are sound waves that are stored as a series of numbers and can be saved and be played hundreds of times. Speaker is an electroacoustic transducer or a device which converts an electric audio signals into corresponding sounds. Radio is a medium for communication. It transmits messages via radio waves. It can also provide listeners to hear programs and gather and gain information while listening. While sound films is a motion pictures with synchronized sound film intended for use in sound recording. The last type of auditory materials is telephone. Telephone is an instrument for producing sounds at a distance or it is communication tools used to send speech or data over a distance. Number 2. Visual materials is a tool by which we see and can be understood by observing the visual aspects of an object, presentation, and images. So, what are the visual materials? It composed of poster, PowerPoint, chart, photographs, bulletin boards, and projected materials. Poster is a piece of printed paper designed to be attached to the wall and to be eye-catching and informative. PowerPoint is a software application which is particularly used to present data and information by using text and it is the most common visual material for presenting lectures and topics. Chart is a graphical presentation of data in which the data is presented by symbols such as bars in a bar chart. Photographs is a picture media using a camera in which an image is focused into film and created by light failing or a sensitive surface. Bulletin boards is used to post important information of events or gatherings. The last type of visual materials is projected materials. It is a media format in which text and still images are enlarged and displayed on an illuminated screen. Number 3. Audiovisual materials is a combination of audio and visual materials that possess both sounds and visual components. So, what are the audiovisual materials? It composed of television, film, and video. Television is a telecommunication medium used for transmitting moving images or visual images and sounds that are reproduced on screens. Film, or also called movie, is a series of animated fiction or real-life events or moving pictures shows on screen, and usually with sounds. And the last type of audiovisual material is video. Video is an electronic medium for the recording, copying, playback, broadcasting, and display of moving visual media. So now, let's talk about the functions of audiovisual materials in teaching. So first, it stimulates the student's self-activeness. Second, enlarge the range of experiences. Third, make learning permanently. Fourth, can teach efficiently in a very meaningful and smooth way. We also have the advantages of audiovisual materials. First, it allows the students to learn at their own comfort zones. Second, it can be reused. Third, can change the student's behavior. Fourth, make real contribution that will be useful and effective inside the classroom. Fifth, helps to cut through the time limit. While there are advantages of using AVM, it also have disadvantages. So first, it can take so much time if AVM hasn't been prepared before the presentation. 
Second, AVM may be expensive. Third, it also requires the right use. Fourth, no matter how high or low the quality of AVM that you are using, it will still have technical glitches or malfunction. Fifth, it also needs a proper equipment. Sixth, the students may not be comprehending in the lectures because some of them maybe have a short attention span and got bored while listening and results to not understanding the lesson. So now let's talk about the programs that edit and publish videos. So we have the Mora 9, KineMaster, VSDC, and Adobe Premium Pro. And also these editing apps can use to record videos or edit and put together the raw footage of various shots or scenes. And now, let's talk about the steps in producing audiovisual materials. First, planning. Planning is the first process of producing materials for teaching, and it is the most difficult part because you need to have a plan before you proceed in making. Second is production. Production is the process of making or creating the material for teaching. And the last part is publishing. Publishing, it is the final part of producing the material for teaching and making the material available at the time that you want to use it. And now, let's talk about conclusion. The teacher should be a media literate to be able to be effective in teaching and to be able to explore more in different ways of teaching. And now that you know what is audiovisual materials, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!